Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's understand interrupts of 8051 microcontroller. First, what is interrupts? Interrupts are the events that temporarily suspend the main program execution and the control of that will be passed to the external source and execute their task. After completing that external source task, the controller will get the control of the main program and then main program execution will be continued. There are five different types of interrupts can occur in 8051 microcontroller. There are two external hardware interrupts and two timer interrupts and one is serial communication interrupt. These two external hardware interrupts are called as INT0 and INT1 and timer overflow interrupts are called as TF0 and TF1. And serial communication interrupt will occur through RI or TI. And as I said, the main program is keep on executing and in between if the interrupt comes, the program counter will be having the address of the current instruction which is executing that will be pushed to the stack. Now the program counter should have the vector address of the interrupt which is occurred. Means if the external zero interrupt occurs, the vector address is specified by 003H. Similarly, you can see here timer zero interrupt will be having 000BH, external one will be having 0013H, timer one interrupt will be having a vector address 001BH. If the serial port interrupt occurs, that will be having a program counter address of 0023H. Similarly, we have a system reset address also that is 0000H. It means whenever the system reset happens, the microcontroller is resetted, the program counter will be having or it will be start executing from this location. Means it will be having 0H as the address. In the similar way, we can understand if the interrupt occurs, means the address corresponds to this will be the address of those tasks. The reset interrupt we can call it as a interrupt, but it is not available for the programmer. We can't control this reset through the program. We can control these interrupts, which is external and timer and serial port. So the reset interrupt can occur on the hardware side. It will be also called as power on reset. And this reset interrupt will be having a vector address of 0H. And these five interrupts can be controlled using two registers. One is IE register that is interrupt enable register. Another one is IP register that is interrupt priority register. Interrupt enable register as the name itself says, this register is used for enabling and disabling the interrupts. And interrupt priority register again name says, the priorities of those interrupts are going to be set in these registers. Basically, you can see over here, the priorities are mentioned with the numbers. Means external zero will be having the highest priority and serial port will be having the lowest priority. So I recommend you to remember these interrupts in the same order. First is INT zero, next is timer zero, next is INT one, then timer overflow one, then serial port interrupt. So highest priority will be given to the INT zero lowest priority will be given to the serial port. But we can control these priorities using interrupt priority. So let us understand what is IE register and what is first one is interrupt enable register. This interrupt enable register is a 8 bit register. You can see over here, this is the 7th bit position. This is the 0th position. 0th position is EX0 that is ex enable external interrupt 0 means this ex0 enables or disables the external interrupt 0 means int0 enabling or disabling can be done by by making this 1 and 0 if this bit is 1 external interrupt 0 is enabled if this bit is 0 external interrupt 0 is disabled similarly et0 corresponds to timer 0 overflow interrupt whenever these bits are 1 those interrupts are going to be enabled. And similarly, EX1 corresponds to 
enable or disable external interrupt 1 et1 corresponds to timer 1 overflow es corresponds to the serial port interrupt et2 corresponds to timer 2 overflow but timer 2 is not available in at51 we can neglect this and ea is ea should be 1 if this is 0 we are going to disable all the interrupts means ea should be 1 then only we can control the enable and disabling of other interrupts through these bits so you can read over here to enable any of the interrupts first ea should be 1 after that the bits corresponds to the desired interrupts are going to be enabled means et0 et1 this is et0 et1 and et2 corresponds to the timers if we are going to enable this et0 et0 over here means this first bit the timer 0 can be enabled means we can understand in this way by taking an example suppose if you want to enable the external interrupt 0 means that is int 0 by making this one and all other bits are zeros except ex0 EX means this should be one and this should be one for external interrupt 0 in such case the register will having a value 81h 81 means this is 1 0 0 0 1 triple zeros and 0 0 0 1 means this 4 bit gives 8 this 4 bit gives 1 means 81 is the value present in IE register then it says it is enabling external interrupt 0 similarly if you want to enable the timer 0 interrupt then it reads 82 in this way we can enable or disable the any interrupt which is required then we have ip register this ip register is interrupt priority register here by this is also an 8 bit register by making the corresponding interrupt bits 1 we can set that as a high priority register in the previous slide i said the highest priority will be given to external interrupt 0 then the second highest priority will be given to timer 0 then it is followed with external interrupt 1 then timer 1 then serial port then timer 2 if it is available so here you can see this px0 corresponds to external interrupt 0 int 0 and pt0 corresponds to timer 0 suppose if you are going to set this pt0 as 1 and other bits are zeros the highest priority will be given to the timer interrupt 0 whenever the timer interrupt comes even if the external interrupt is there this interrupt will be assessed first so in this way we can enable or disable the priorities if you are not going to set any of these priorities the default priorities which i said earlier will be there int0 will be having the highest priority and also you can observe here if two interrupts come at a time what happens a lowest priority interrupt can only be interrupted by the highest priority interrupt means if the lowest priority interrupt is already executing that can be interrupted by the highest priority interrupt but a lowest priority interrupt cannot interrupt the highest priority interrupt if the two interrupts with the different priority levels are received simultaneously obviously highest priority level will be served first and if the request of the same priority levels are received means if the two interrupts with the same level are received at a time then internal polling will be done in the microcontroller and that will determine which request has to be served first this is about ip register so the priorities which we have over here these are the default priorities we need to observe that int0 will be having the highest priority and serial port will be having the lowest priority and we can enable or disable the interrupts by using ie register and purposefully we can set the priorities using ip register this is about the interrupts of AT51 microcontroller. In the next video, let's see more concepts on microcontroller. Thank you.